Hey there guys, how you doing? It's Drew here and today is day number 1355 review video here for my progress inside S group. So this is just going to be uh, me doing some withdrawals here. So I've got about 80 bucks SWCT and about $60 SGCT. So we'll do the, uh, we'll do little withdrawals there of that right now. And be a quick video. So 78 for this guy, grab that. I guess I could send this to my wife's wallet. So I, I think we'll do that in today's video as well. Make it a little bit, little bit longer. Okay. And that's that. Go to this guy, 59 of these, 59. Grab the wallet address there, SGCT, yep. And then I can use that same code, this one. And we'll do, there you go. World's quickest withdrawals. That was, that was uh, super fast, eh? Two withdrawals, so there they are right there. And now what we're going to do is we'll go over here, we'll go to send, I'll send this SWCT to my wife's account for our holdings. So I've got to grab her address. Okay, there's the address. Pop that in there, hit the max button. Okay, send all that off to her. Get these codes. Then I need to get my email code, I think. Yep, email code. Okay, there's the email code. And yeah, that's it for uh, this video today, guys. Just a real quick one. Um, I'll end with this. So if you go to my YouTube channel, I did two uh, videos showing I need a haircut. It's starting to get longer on the sides. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, I did. There's the transaction. Okay, so there it is there. It's already gone to her wallet. So I did these two videos here, and it's basically I share with you my plan on what I'm going to do if they announce they're going to trial, or my plan, which you probably already know, if they announce that liquidity is going to be provided. And here's another thing, guys, is they're not going to announce liquidity is going to be provided after the pre-trial. Okay, they're not gonna announce it there because this pre-trial is just about clearing the claims you know, made against the company as in its legitimacy. Okay, there's gonna have to be more dealings. If you go and you follow um, this, well, it's this post here, so in my group here, okay? So if you come here, the post I did yesterday, you click that link, it'll take you here. And Sergi basically has laid out um, the steps here. He's got step one and step two. Okay, so if you read this, then you'll understand that there's more involved with just them saying, oh, all the claims are uh, proven to be false, and then a stamp of approval from the court and stuff like that. There's, there's way more to it than that, guys. Uh, the regulator has to do a dealing with the broker to release the funds, so the regulator has to go and actually see the outcome of the pretrial if everything is successful. Okay, has to see the outcome of the pretrial, and then the regulator conducts the broker, okay, what to do, right? So it's not just, hey, the pretrial was a success, and boom, you're gonna have liquidity, right? It might take months, like who knows? It might take days, it might take weeks, it might take months, okay? So no one knows until things are done. It's like, if you think about it this way, it's like you being a, uh, athlete like a runner we'll say like a runner like you do marathons or something like that right do you know your outcome before the race no you don't <laughs> okay so if someone was to come to you and say hey how are you going to do at this race like uh, what place are you going to come in right and you say I don't know because I haven't done it yet I haven't done the race yet and then imagine them being like why don't you know right that's for a lot of members in S group guys, that's kind of their response to all this is like, why don't we know a date? 
uh, why don't we know when liquidity is going to be provided and stuff like that? Like, you know, why don't you know what place you're going to come in the race <laughs> kind of thing? OK, so, um, yeah, it, it most of this is common sense, guys. So you basically just what you have to do. And I'm trying my best to go and put things in front of people like this is the important information and stuff. I'm trying my best to do that for the entire like whoever's looking. Right. OK, so. It's here. All you have to do is simply look at things. OK, so by this post here and, you know, just going down and reading everything that he's he's uh, said over the last couple of days and stuff. I can kind of get a judgment on that. Yes, even if the outcome is positive, as in the pretrial was successful and they decide, you know, we don't need to go to trial, which that's what I think the outcome is going to be, because they've already announced all claims against the company have been proven to be false. So in my mind, it's kind of like, you know, there'd have to be something really messed up that the plaintiff does, like bringing new claims forward or something like that, or trying to create some kind of chaos situation for the pretrial or, or whatever to try and force it to go to trial or, or type thing like that. But, you know, there's uh, been posts months ago saying that like, almost six months ago now, like half a year ago, almost around uh, last Christmas, you know, there was posts out there at the start of the year, basically, um, where Sergi said that there's been no new claims brought forward, right? So, you know, if, if I was, say I was the judge or whatever, the people in court, you know, making the decisions or something, that's something I would look at. I'd be like, okay, there's been no new claims in the past since the start of this year. Okay, so the plaintiff has had enough time to bring claims forward, but they haven't. And then imagine if they go and at this pretrial or for the pretrial, they're bringing new claims forward all of a sudden, right? That would look bad upon them. So that's kind of my thoughts on it, guys, as in like, I think it's going to be successful and stuff is because of that. All claims have been cleared to be proven to be false, right? That was the audit, okay? And then there's been no new claims brought forward in the last six months. So if they did do something fishy, the plaintiff, and bring new claims forward, it would probably just look bad upon them. As in like, why didn't you bring this forward over the last six months when the auditing you know, was finishing up? Like, hey, look, we found other stuff. Or there's these other claims we've got to look at or whatever kind of thing. Like I just, I just really, I can't see something like that happening at the pretrial. So that's my opinion as in, I think it's gonna be successful guys, but I'm just some guy on the internet. So who knows? I wouldn't like, if I was following me, I probably wouldn't listen to me. I would listen to the news that's coming out by the company and then make my own opinions on that, my own judgment on it. That's what I recommend you do, okay? But I like to share things publicly just because a lot of people out there, they ask me questions like this and uh, you know, if I get enough people asking me the same questions, then it's good just to talk about it publicly, right? And also, I, you know, guys, I think when I talk like this, it helps a lot of people out that are stuck there and they're, maybe it's their first time working with you know, online stuff and to listen to someone who's been doing it for like 15 years full time. I don't have a day job, right? Like this is what I live off basically it's kind of, it gives you more of a peace of mind because maybe I'm saying things that you're not thinking about or, you know, you're thinking, okay, this guy's been around a long time. Um, maybe I'll listen to what he's saying and then you think about it and I don't know. <laughs> it, it, I know it helps out some people, right? So that's it guys. But anyways, I, I just wanted to talk about that real quick um, because I think it's very important for you guys to watch these videos. And once you watch them, you'll realize why it's so important because I think that we're gonna run into a scenario with S crypto as in the same scenario that happened with the optimal two pool. Well, and I guess optimal one as well um, is they got full, right? So imagine that, imagine if, you know, we go into a full trial and it takes a year, six months, takes two years, takes five years, who knows how long, no one knows. It's like that runner running the race. He doesn't know what place is gonna come in, right? Okay, so he doesn't even know what's gonna happen to him. He could injure himself and not even finish the race. That's what I'm saying, right? Okay, so um, in this video here, I kind of like, I talk about that. I talk about that stuff as in like, what if, you know, S crypto fills up and then you can't do it. And the people that 
did it, uh, you know, invest in it over the first, say, three days or something like that, when after they announced that they're going to trial and that, you know, the pretrial didn't go successful the, the way they wanted and they have to go to trial, what if we only have like a three day grace period before that thing fills up? And then, you know, what if the company decides we're not going to put out any new investments because it's going to trial, right? And we're just going to stick to what we have right now. And then you're, what are you left with? You're left with just sitting on your SWCT for who knows how long, like could be months, could be years, guys, right? So that's why I think like, guys, it's very, very important to like, think about this stuff now, okay? I personally think things are gonna get resolved at the pretrial, right? And my SWCT, I'm gonna be able to sell it into USDT and then just put it in a hard wallet, okay? That's what I think is gonna be the outcome. But I wanna prepare myself for a scenario that I don't even wanna think about is what if I don't have access to my SWCT for like years, okay? What do, what do I wanna do? Do I wanna invest it and be making money off it? Or do I wanna just let it sit there and you know, like it's there, it's a lot, but doing nothing for me, right? I want it to do something for me. If it's gonna be locked up for you know, 180 days or 360 days, that's fine as long as it's making money, right? Okay, so that's something you guys gotta think about. And I, I think that that's a good message, okay? So that's it from me, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll go back here to Career's page and we'll end it there. Um, I'm gonna edit as much as I possibly can out of this thing just so that you get some good information in here. It's 18, it's almost 20 minutes long. <laughs> Doing two withdrawals and just a little talk. So I could probably get that down to like 10 minutes or so, right? Okay, so that's it. See you guys, bye-bye.